In this video, I really just want to share with you what amylase is, how the body uses it, and how you can get it. Now, Before I begin, down below I'm giving away a free video-based guide on dietary supplements and alternative medicine. Now, amylase is an enzyme. What that means is it helps convert one thing and turn it into something else. Its job is to take carbohydrates and starches that you eat and turn it into glucose. The body uses glucose for energy and cells can store it as well. It's like cars using gasoline. Now, here's the thing. If someone is deficient in this enzyme, that's bad. It can lead to some problems like skin rashes and, of course, digestive problems like constipation, gas, stomach pains. Plus, the brain likes glucose. So if you're deficient in it, you are might feel kind of miserable and you might have some memory issues. Now, more bad news is someone is deficient in this, in this enzyme. It can really contribute to diabetes, food cravings, sugar cravings, as well as some uh, food allergies. Now, apart from digestion, it also breaks down dead white blood cells. So it could play a role in the immune system, helping that. Plus, it, it plays a role in reducing inflammation. And that's great because inflammation is a big cause of, of the aging process. It contributes to diseases. Uh, plus, it's the main pain with arthritis. So you don't want inflammation. Now, more bad news is due to, to age and the food that we eat, it's very easy to become deficient in this enzyme. And I'll throw an example your way. Have you ever heard of something called soil depletion? Well, what it is, is these farmers, they want to make money, right? That's why they go to work. So they use chemicals to grow their crops bigger and faster so they can make money and, and fight off harmful bugs. This helps them make money, but it depletes the enzymes in the crops. So we suffer. Now, one way to get this enzyme, the easiest way, is to take a quality supplement. Even like a good multivitamin is going to have it. Uh, the problem with these supplements is the whole industry is unregulated. Now, what that means is the companies are really supposed to police themselves. And, well, when it comes to co the competition, it makes it easier for them to put crap out there. And I'll throw one example your way on, on that. A couple years ago, on the Dr. Oz show, they tested all these different supplement brands, top ones too. And can you guess the percentage of them that were mislabeled or had some contaminations? in the supplement? Well, a big number. It was, it was like around 40%. So there's some crap out there. But the good news is there's some good stuff out there. So you have to kind of wade through it. Now, to make things easier, I did create this whole video guide, which I feel can give you a lot of tips on shopping for supplements, which can be very, very helpful. It also simplifies herbal medicine and gives you some great ideas on how to get herbs into your system very inexpensively and easily. So that's great. It also talks about some alternative medicine too. So it's worth your while. Check it out. What you just got to do is click on the link below the video that I made for you. Thanks for watching. If, if, you, if this video was helpful, please hit the thumbs up button and have a very wonderful rest of your day. Bye.